Hey you guys, here we are cooking with Amy. So tonight it's leftover night. I have some leftover curry chicken and I thought why not make a curry chicken salad. So we're going to do this with some of the leftover chicken that I have. Um, we're going to make a yummy salad out of it. So we're going to use the chicken. We've got some celery. We've got some onion. We've got some parsley and some cilantro. I think I'm just going to use the parsley tonight. And then we got some feta and we got some yummy mayonnaise. All right, so let's take some of the chicken and I want to take that and I want to cut them up a little bit in smaller little bite-sized pieces. So let's just kind of get going with those. We're just going to cut them up. There we go. And just put them in our bowl. Make them really simple just cut them up simple i can probably take a handful of these and do it so we do a little bit faster let's chop these guys up i hope you guys are having a great day today is actually halloween and i thought i'd do this do a little fun little night with some cooking I'm hoping we get some trick-or-treaters. I'm not sure what the uh, standards are right now with everything that's going on with our pandemic. So hopefully kids are out being able to trick-or-treat and they're staying safe. Let's just hope. So all I'm doing, you guys, is just taking these and cutting, cutting them up into little pieces. So it's gonna be easier when we make our salad and it's not too huge of a bite when people bite into it make it really simple you know me i'm about simple and i know you guys i know you guys want to spend time with your family you guys don't want to sit and just keep cooking all the time you know and not spend quality time with your family like i said this is leftovers make it simple make it easy and make it yummy so the other night we made this we made a curry veggie dish and i had some chicken that i needed to use up and my roommate she wanted some chicken with her her curry with her veggies so we did a different dish and we just made up some chicken real quick and that's this is what our leftover is oh, it's still even like even though it's been a day or so that since we've made it it still smells yummy and delicious so this is um chicken breast is what we used See what I'm doing? I don't think you guys can see. I put my bowl in the way, so sorry. So again, just doing a quick chop on them to make them in smaller pieces. I'm almost done with this. And you know, and what I when I look in here, I like to see the you know some of the oils that I have in here, and also I can see some of the the collagen from the chicken, which is good. And you want some of that gelatin stuff in there. That's that's some of the good stuff from the chicken. That's what makes you look so much younger. All right. All right, this is our last little bit of chicken. All right, put that in the bowl. So the next thing we're going to do, kind of clean off my hands here a little bit is I'm going to take our celery. All I'm going to do is cut that in half and then just make some little slices out of them. See how simple and easy that is? So just cut it out. So again, you guys, this is just, you know, a leftover pantry. All right, so I have three green onions. Same thing, we're just gonna slice those babies up. Make sure your fingers are out of the way, you don't chop them, because that won't be good. Just make sure as you're going, you move your fingers out of the way, chop, chop, chop. See, really simple and easy. So give some yummy flavor. Ooh, almost a finger there. All right. Take 
And let's put those in the bowl as well. Oh, this, you know, with that yellow in here and with some of this green, this is going to be delicious. I'm gonna do the other salad. I was kind of debating if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna put it in here. So I'm gonna chop this up. Look at that. Oh, you know what I think I might do? I think I might grab some red onion to give it another flavor of onion in here to give it a little bit more of a kick to the onions. Let's get these in here. Let me grab that onion and wash my hands off real quick. Hey, baby. Let me just grab the onion real quick. I was trying to make sure I have everything out before. Like I said, I was debating. I was debating if I wanted to do onion, but I think I kind of will to add a little bit more color to our dish. All right, let me just go ahead and cut that section off so we can start nice and fresh. Maybe a little bit thicker on one side, but that's okay. Get some of those thin ones in there. <laughs> you are silly. My my dog says it's um hello, it's time to feed me. Which I think we're gonna wait a few minutes before I feed him. Alright, move this onion out of the way. And all I'm gonna do is I cut it in half. There this is a little bit thicker, but that's okay. All I'm gonna do Let's make some really thin slices. And it's okay if we add some of these thick ones in there. I'm going to turn it a little bit to make those nice and small. The thicker end. And pop those right in here as well. Make it really simple. See how easy and small those little pieces are? That's what we want in here. Matter of fact, so I added a couple slices in here and I'm like, ah, they're not cut up. So let's grab those real quick and just kind of dice those up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, you guys, you're, I'm going to have to show you this here in just a second here. Look how pretty this is. All right, so this stuff is done. Clean up this mess a little bit. Okay, let's put this rest of this onion back in the bag, and then we're gonna move on to our easy stuff. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. Look how pretty this looks right now. Look at those colors. Look at the yellow, the greens, and the red. It looks delicious, right? I'm gonna grab my spoon because we're gonna use that there in a minute. Add our mayonnaise. Let's add a little bit more color. Let's get some of this feta in there. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Oh, this is going to be delicious and yummy. All right. I'm gonna grab a nice good spoonful. Not too much because we want to see how that kind of goes and see if it goes, you know, a good way. Oops lost my spoon in there. Let's put that, tuck that in on the side. So I do have a little bit of salt right here. And I'm just going to put a nice good pinch and a half of salt in there. Maybe one more. Okay. You grab some pepper. Okay. you guys make it nice and yummy I am gonna add a little bit of avocado oil it's just a smidge to help coat it All right. let's mix this in doesn't that look pretty let me just 
mix it to show you guys. Look at that. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the smell. You can smell the curry. You can smell the onions. Oh, goodness, it is, this is going to be delicious. Now, I don't like to put a lot of mayonnaise because I think that's going to cover up everything that you want and what you're looking for. And we don't want that. We want to be able to taste that curry. Oops. You know, I'm just going to eat this one. Mm. You know what? I can taste some of that curry on here. And that, it, it's going to be good with this, you guys. chicken on there let's try this see if we need to add anything else to it I'm gonna get a little bit of everything in there I'm gonna go up here because I see some of that feta so we got some chicken some onions everything mm. that is good you guys I can taste a little bit of everything I can taste that curry in the chicken I can taste the feta but I think I want to add a little bit more feta. You can taste the onion. And it has just a little bit like the right amount of mayonnaise in there. We're just going to put the rest of it in there. Why not? This is left overnight. You know, it's like whatever you have in your pantry, let's make something new from it. Let's make it revive. And that's what we did here. We took some of that curry chicken that we had. You know what, you can even add some bell pepper in here if you want to. Matter of fact, we might. And I do have some of the, the, the parsley here. We're gonna add that in just a minute. I just wanted to see how this was going here. You know what? I think I am gonna add some of these bell peppers. I think I'll add another good step of a flavor. Mm. Even though that right there is perfect, yeah. All right, so then I we did our curry. We had a bunch of bell peppers and everything. So I think I'm gonna add just a couple of those in here. Get my other board. I'm gonna add that in there. I would give it another little crunch to it. Also, what I have too is I have some almonds, which I think would be another little delicious thing to add to it as well. All right, so I just broke off just a little bit of parsley. We're gonna do that in a minute. Let's leave the messy stuff for later. I think it's gonna add a nice little flavor to it too. So I'm just gonna take these bell peppers Again, like I said, I like bite size. So maybe that was a little bit too small for those, but I'm just gonna make them about yay big. Let's put them in here. So that's a pretty good size. I think we're gonna leave it that size and we're just gonna, like I said, leave them a little bit bigger and a little bit chunkier. Not, not too small, but still a good, good size. And ooh, that's adding some pretty color to it too that red you know we've already got got that yellow maybe like some orange bell peppers would look pretty in here but these red ones just sticking out like just really beautiful let's get this other bell pepper in here and we'll also do some parsley that look beautiful. I'm gonna grab my nifty little thing here to help that from not sliding. All right, let's get some of this parsley in here. What I like to do with my parsley is kind of bunch it up, roll it up. So we don't need that much for this one here. I kind of really want my other flavors to stand out. I want to keep that um, 
uh, cumin taste or the curry taste. All right, let's just chop. Again, watch your fingers, make sure they're out of the way and we don't chop them. And then what I like to do is after I've done that, do a quick little chop of that as well. All right, let's add it to our bowl of deliciousness. Let me show you what this looks like and then we should be done. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to take one of my jicama wraps and I'm going to probably add it to that. All right. So look at that. Isn't that pretty? Added a little bit more color to it, a little bit more flavor. So let's just mix this up a little bit. So it's all incorporated. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be delicious. This is another good, yummy, delicious dish. And I am going to add a little bit more avocado oil to help incorporate some of that. Just like I said, just a smidge to help get it wet and get it mixed in there. That's all you have to do. See? Look at that. Just you guys we don't need to add any more salt any more pepper because again we don't want to take away that flavor all right let's see how this tastes with that mm. perfect let's add a little bit of almond almonds but you can also add um, cashews if you want to I would I kind of wanted to do almonds because I did cashews the other night I um, went and got some because I'm gonna make another recipe that required using cashews but I thought why not add that to my curry and it was really good I love it but this one here I wanted the almonds because I wanted it nice and simple and just a little bit of a crunch. So, all right, let's try that with the almonds. Mm. You know what, it's perfect. Don't need to add anything else to it. This is perfect the way it is. All right, let's grab a wrap. You know what? These things kind of go bad a little fast. I think they've already gone bad. Note to self, we have to hurry up and use jicama. Jicama does not last long in the fridge, but I do have another thing that I can use. And I just got these, so I know they're good. Ooh, you know what else we can do if you wanted to? You can always, so I have some um, avocado in there and I just thought, what if you added some avocado slices to this? So I'm using um, the mozzarella cheese wraps. I like these. So like I said, I try and stay away from all the carby kind of stuff. And so this just seems really loud. Um, so I try and find alternatives. Um, cheese is like one of them that I, I I'm able to do and it's it's not a problem so if you just take like some of this here and maybe even took some avocado slices put it on there and then added some of this and made like a little taco wrap with it or just a taco look at that just that there that's all you need wrap it up in there maybe like a little burrito Mmm. <clears throat> That is definitely good. 
I think it would definitely taste better with the jicama, but I do like it with the cheese because then again, I just love cheese. So that, or just eating it on its own is perfect. Maybe have some crackers or something like that with it. Find something healthy to go with it. Other than that, you guys, that's perfect. This is it. This is our curry chicken salad. Isn't that just delicious? All right, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys make it. If you do, please let me know and what you think. If you love it, then yay. Again, this is whatever leftovers that we had. We made it, revived it, and made it into something yummy and delicious. So I hope you guys try it. This is my chicken curry salad. Please make it. It's delicious. You guys will love it. Thank you guys for watching Cooking with Amy. We'll see you next time. Love you all. Bye.